So grand finals. This is at this at this point it's like 1:30 in the morning at CEO. Oh, somebody asked about versus fighting. Hey, you guys not know about versus fighting? Versus fighting is happening this weekend in Birmingham, UK. And uh, it is a Dragon Ball Fighter Saga event. It's a Street Fighter premiere event, and it's a Tekken Master event. So it is a huge event for all three of those games. Uh, I thought it was actually an Injustice event, but it's not a pro, a pro Series event, which is a bummer. But yeah, it's a huge event for those games. So this weekend when it's happening, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the UK, uh, when it's not happening, I'll probably be streaming and trying to do some match analysis on the things that have ha happened, right? So... Let's say on Friday, some pools happen and there's some good matches in the pools. I'll probably do some match analysis um, either Friday morning or Saturday morning. I get, what is the time zone difference? They're ahead of us by quite a bit, right? <clears throat> Let me look. Let me take a peek. Because I think I looked at what time it would be uh, for me when the tournament starts. Eight hours? Is that what it is? Eight hours? Okay. So it should be eight hours ahead, right? So if the tournament ends, let's say, at like 8 or 10 p.m., then that's around 2 to 3 p.m. for me. So if let's say the stream is from, like, you know, UK time. It's from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. at night. By the time I'm starting to stream around anywhere from 12 to 2, then the, turn, the stream will be over. So I'll be able to go back and watch the highlights for the day. Right, that's sort of the plan for each uh, for each day of versus fighting. So I'll kind of be like the when versus fighting is down, I'll be here like, hey, all right, let's fucking get some uh, get some work done. So that's the plan for versus fighting. Anyway, grand finals. Fujimura Shaohai. Fujimura lost three two in winners finals, but it felt uh, it felt like he was in control the whole time until Shaohai made that crazy comeback. All right. Are you going to do all of EVO? You will find out. EVO announces its own commentators. Maybe I'm doing nothing. I think if he did EX Uppercut, he would have stunned him. Well, sometimes it all works out. I love that Raida. Uh, did he do Jump Fierce right into Raida? He does Raida to get the stun punish. Jump Fierce, Raida. <laughs> that probably builds the most meter, right? Ride is one of my favorite moves that Ibuki has. Okay, nice. Finding something. The approach here comes from Fujimura. Still looking gold. Yeah, controlling a lot. Fujimura knew show I Oh no, he walked a little too far. I wonder if he tried like four medium kick or something and didn't get it. Yeah, nice punish on the command dash. Uppercut. I think she has one of the few uppercuts that'll reach there, right? That it's high enough that that would hit. Man, Shao High. His wake up jabs, I feel like always hit. Finish. He just doesn't let Fujimura move in ways that are reactable. I mean, if you can react to something, You can't jump or don't get hit by crouching medium kick. Both of those are huge. As huge as that 16 months in a row from Bojack188. Thanks very much. Dead. He doesn't have to spend any bar because he still has V-Trigger. ESP Sleepy says, I have an interview tomorrow for a job I'm not qualified for. Any advice? Be nice and personable and... Uh, Answer as honestly as you can, and hope that you get the job. Most people lie about whether they're qualified for their positions or not, I've learned, so. I don't know. I've always felt the interviews were pretty straightforward. So I don't really have any advice for you other than, like, for me, yeah, just show up and be yourself. Unless yourself is a bad person, then don't, don't be yourself. Jesus, that was a scary uppercut. Yeah, to me, when it comes to something like interviewing, uh, a lot of it is about how powerful your people skills are, how good you are at uh, having a good measured response quickly in an interview. To me, like it's very automatic, most interview questions, right? It's like uh, simple questions, like what makes you want to work at this company? The real answer is, I need money. And if I don't work here, I can't buy more Chun-Li costumes, right? But what you say is like, well, 
you know, I've sort of always been interested in this company and my degree is in like whatever field. So for me, it seems like a natural fit to kind of work at a company like this. And I think you guys always do really cool stuff like whatever. Right. Yeah, I've always thought that Walmart was uh, an exceptional company. And I uh, I really like the way you guys sell things for cheap and affordable, uh, you know, it's great. I've always wanted to work for you guys. No, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Just try to be honest and, and uh, just don't be weird. If you're your usual self and you're any kind of charming or personable, you'll be fine. You should be able to kill him. Yeah. It depends also how you got asked about the company, right? Like, if a friend of yours recommended you, you'd be like, yeah, this guy, he's always worked here. He's loved the company. It sounds really positive. I'd love to join the team. I don't know. That is so good. A lot of this, uh, the matchup specifics of this matchup we talked about when we watched in, in Winner's Finals. But look at how early you can uppercut and still hit Cammy. If she dive kicks, it doesn't matter. You're just too early uppercut. Which takes a lot of brain power to be ready to early DP. But, you know, it's a great answer. Many characters wish they had an answer as consistent as that. Ah, uh, too antsy on the V skill. And he didn't spend critical art either. Yeah, you're, uh, oh, he could have stunned him. Yeah, I guess you just activate on block. Command dash. That mix up's not that strong, but just like before we talked about taking yourself out of the corner, probably worthwhile. And she only has three kunai left. Um, that actually worked out okay. Because he was airborne on the roundhouse, it wasn't that bad. <gasps> You're just going to let him pull out, a, pull out a kunai like that? He could have EX drilled and killed him, I think. Nice. Jumping over kunais is the best way to beat them. Yeah, he bet, he bet on the uh, release. If that hits, he gets a juggle and he can kill him, but... Yeah, it's a good check. If you're not far enough away, that's not plus. Why should he hire me over Joe Schmo? That's a good question. Yeah, you can always... Whatever your, your most positive uh, strength is, I would just try to highlight that. It depends on what it is. If it's you work hard or you're naturally... You're fit for the job or... You're familiar with the company. Whatever your most honest answer is. I try not to lie in things like that. Like, what? what is your biggest strength? Nah, that mix-up wasn't that tough to block. And it ended up uh, cornering him anyway. Yeah, communication is always a good thing to say. People like that. Willing to learn is a good answer. Wow, that was a sick punish. Oh my god. That was fucking... That was a sick punish. Finish. That trade was no bueno. Fujimura is in trouble. I think he needs two V skills to get his trigger too. So if you're Shao High, you just wait and try to jump it, I think. Yeah, he needs one more of those. That's what's scary. I, you know that he wants that last V skill if you're Shao High. Oh, yeah, he does. V skill. Yeah, of course he's going to V skill. He's dead. Why did you let him do that? There's only one thing he's looking for. He does it right here. When he throws him... He's obviously going to V skill you here. I think if you're Shao High and you don't up forward or backdash here and buffer drill, you're crazy. Because you know that's what he wants. He woke up Jab. That's the one thing he really wanted, right? The most obvious. Sometimes the most obvious answer is the one you expect the least. In that moment, Shao High probably just didn't think about it. But that's, like, looking back at it, that was the most likely choice that he was going to make, right? Oh, 
Yeah, most people, when they talk about Shahai, it's mostly his natural talent. God, that uppercut does a grip. Back throw. Shahai has always been naturally extremely talented, right? And he plays a lot of a lot of other games and is just really good at it. Oh, he's too far. I think he could have just done raw DP. Got him. Right him? Mm-hmm. You don't get a mix-up here, but you take the damage. You really want a crush counter, but it's not going to hit that low crouching jab of Kami. Dead. The best thing about Kami is when you get V-Trigger and you just regular jump, right? That's the strongest thing you can do. Just regular jump. Because what are they going to do to stop it, right? If you're... They're looking for the V-Trigger dive kick so they respect it. And you just regular jump in and then just like, fuck. By the time they realize what's happening, it's too late. You can't answer if you're already thinking it's going to be something else. Mm, he tried something. That he got counter hit. Maybe he did, like, back medium punch or something. Uppercut, yep. Early uppercut is very, very good. It's kind of scary against V-Trigger Drill, but it's very good against almost everything else. You just have to be ready for it. Buffering a DP is not as easy as, like, I don't know, back strong. Oh, God, him. You're smoked. One too many throw attacks. You don't have a useful talent. Everybody's good at something. And if you're not good at something and you're willing to try hard, that's worth something. And if you're not good at anything and you're not willing to try hard, then why are you trying to get a job? <laughs> right? Showing up and caring is an important skill. Everybody's good at something. V skill, down strong, buffer, on reaction to the dash. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to cap com uh, Comic Con for anything. Yep, that's a good point. Fujimura recognized that Shaha is trying to walk up, so he's trying to check him with strongs and stuff. Yeah, I like that choice to come in with the kunai. Everybody's good at something. It's it's funny to be like, I'm not good at anything. Just to make a joke. My biggest talent is sleeping. Everybody says stuff like that. But usually most people have a couple of strong uh, like things that they can reliably say they're good at. He tried to float out of there. Her DP is seriously one of the best for, for clipping this, right? Not that many go this high. Right? Not that many DPs have her angle where it angles up like that. Damn, he did it again. Yeah, see? Like, what do you... At least he got out of the corner, I guess. Wow, he released. Nice whiff punish. You know that that's the most likely thing Ibuki's going to try when she has V-Trigger, right? Crouching medium kick V-Trigger. Walk back. Crouching medium kick trigger. Whiff punish. What's good, Ron Siegel? Nice work yesterday, by the way. Oh, God. Chip. Yeah, chip him. DP super. Shahai can kill him now. He doesn't have to take any big risks. That's why he's buffering crouching jab. Oh my. That was a sick. He was almost, he almost killed him. He almost killed him. Dash up. Walk back. If this throw whiffs, he's dead. Biggest weakness. You can always say that sometimes you overwork yourself. Maybe maybe you're too much of a team player or not enough of a team player. Down jab buffer. That's a really useful thing. You see him, he's doing it a lot, crouching jab buffer. This is common too. Somebody tries to counter poke after that, you down jab. <clears throat> Most important part about running and growing locals. That's a hard question for me to answer because I'm not somebody who runs a local or grows a local. I'm just someone who's always been to them. That sucks. You're not stunned, though. That's good. Oh, my God. Well, crouching short on wake up into V-Trigger is so good. Because the most common things that people do on, wa on wake up, right, is walk back. Uh, either because they're trying to bait your throw or bait your uppercut. So most people are not stand blocking or crouch blocking. So that's a very common reaction to do. Cross up. CA? Fierce. Yeah, he didn't even need it. EX Rida. You have that juggle point left. Critical Art would have been the lazy Sejam combo there that would have killed, but I guess Fujimura knows Ibuki slightly better than I do, huh? Again, 
<laughs> he hit confirm that fierce on block. I guess you just go for the kunai anyway. Punish. That sucks. That we have DP there is a lot of free damage to give up. Un it's unforced error, right? They call it in baseball. Unforced errors are the worst kinds, aren't they? As a fighting game player, those are the ones that are the most important to try to reduce, you know? Oh, boy. Uppercut. Yep. He's dead. This is like 1.30 or 1.40 or in the morning at this point, by the way. I, got, I want you guys to remember that for context. I cannot believe how late this went. That's true, actually. Tekken did, uh, Street Fighter did, Dragon Ball did. Well, the thing is, is that there's no way that they are that jet lagged at this point, right? Because by Sunday, you could sleep in all day. Like, if Saturday you finish whatever you're doing by like 10 p.m., you can go to sleep at noon and sleep for 12 hours, and you should be okay. So, I think that for Sunday, these guys shouldn't be too jet lagged. But, you know, I mean, it's still hard, right? <clears throat> I, yeah, I feel to me that his his uh, setups mid screen are also almost more dangerous. That crouching medium punch is so good. Although it's not crouching medium punch from well, maybe it is as good as the Street Fighter Four one. Street Fighter Four crouching medium punch was so good. But I think crouching medium punch was scarier in Street Fighter Four because of neckbreaker, right? That was a great chance. He has like a really good read about Fujimura jumping back all the time, right? That was a good try in the mix-up. In fact, actually, I wish that Fujimura... Oh, well, he's a beast. I kind of wish that instead of committing here on dash forward, I wish he had just reloaded and let the block stun kick in. But in hindsight, that was a great back... Or backdash EX uppercut. We talked about this yesterday. During your backdash, you should be buffering something, uh, generally. And EX uppercut is a perfect choice. Neckbreaker left into vor uh, left into vortex. Yeah, that's what I mean. Crouching medium punch, neckbreaker was scary. Yeah, Fujimura is a very wait and see. He's really just chilling. Like that's a good example. He's really just chilling, building V skill, poking at you. He doesn't really take that many risks on the way in. And I don't blame him. Ibuki's a character that can win by doing wait and see. Right? She can just wait and see, find that one V trigger, and then just kill you with it. If you backdashes, you know, respect the uppercut? No. He's only got two kunai left. But, I mean, with this round this close to being over. Uppercut? Oh, man. He could have he could have gotten more damage there. V reversal. He probably will still get V-trigger if Shaohai starts to come back anyway. Oh, that's why release is so good. Even with one kunai, right? Release, command dash. It's not plus, but if it hits, which it's so fast, you juggle. One kunai release still gets the juggle. In fact, it's probably less scaling, so you're just chilling. Man, V skill is so good. The way, the way that he sets you up on the ground by V skilling, making you want to jump, and then that was a great whiff punish. And then uppercutting is really good. And then when you're respecting V skill, he just walks up and does medium punch. And tap roundhouse or roundhouse tap V skill. That's so good. Yeah, he tried to hit a button after whiff roundhouse. I don't blame him because with Ibuki, the whiff recovery is very fast. But I think Shao has caught on to it. Yeah, same situation. We've seen that, what, three or four times now? Just get out of the corner. Who cares? If the mix-up doesn't land, whatever. It's not the end of the world. You at least escape the corner, which is almost certain death. Sure. 
Oh boy. He can win in like three hits. Oh no. Command dash, good check. He didn't hit the punish though. It's hard to do. Yeah. Oh man, where was the uppercut? I think that if he had done the, the dive kick slightly faster, like right when he recovers from this, there's no uppercut or no dive kick just yet, and he just blocks. Fuji needs one uh, kunai and he wins. Wow, he did the release dead. Nice. Yeah, it's counter hit combo, right? That was really it. that was uh that was a good confirm. Yeah, he built it when he dashed forward. Spiral arrow. That was good. Last time he whiffed that roundhouse, he hit a button after and Shao High counter hit him, and this time Shao just walks up and throws him. It depends on what you're doing before she dive kicks, whether you can uppercut it or not. That was a good block. Although I think that was a kind of a seeable left right. Sometimes it's not very seeable, it just depends. Man, that was a hit confirm. Or it should have been anyway. V reversal. Uh oh. That was a shit ton of damage, by the way. Did you guys see how much gray he had? Look at how much gray that is. Look at how much look at how damaging this throw is. God damn, that's like a heavy SPD. Look at how much damage that did. Yeah, I think you spend it. Cause you just if the mix up hits you win. Oh no. This is scary, dude. You know he's a threat with it. There it is. Can he finally get a hit? In this overhead, you're dead. Oh. That sucks. That's the first time I think he's gone to that in a long time. Shahai did have invincible uh uppercut available. Even though he didn't have bar, he still had V trigger, which means he could have tried it, but he didn't. Cross counter, yeah. We talked about that juggle. That's a really good. That's a really good tool to have for Ibuki. Crush counter roundhouse. These two characters have similar crush counter buttons with their heavy kicks. Uh oh, one more for stun. The classic. That's the classic mix up. Mix up as old as it gets, right? We've seen that since Fauna Round last year. Jump, kunai. You think she's gonna go behind you because of the jump arc, so you block forward and the kunai hit in the front. Classic mix up. The jump arc just looks like she's gonna go behind you, right? She jumps forward. You're thinking like, all right, it's the jump arc to go behind me into the corner. So you block like it's gonna be cross up. It hits in the front. That is cheating, right? It's such a strong mix. I'm almost as strong as it feels to so thank all my subscribers. Thanks very much. One player, one? Is that just player one? The X's and the I's don't count. It's just player one. Appreciate it. Man, I gotta figure, these names have been a tongue twister today. We got Demonic and now we got player one trying to throw me off my game, but I'm still ready. Yeah, and the damage you get after that kunai release is still really high. Doesn't count. Yeah, they're just make-believe. No uppercut? Oh, boy. No uppercut? Oh, boy. That's a double, uh, double, uh, what's it called? Oh, boy. Nice punish. And I like EX drill to escape the corner. Nice, that's a combo. Oh, he was too far. He thought he was close enough. It's kind of an illusion, a tr visual trickery. He he looks much closer to Ibuki than he ended up, right? He thought he could do down jab back strong, but he wasn't close enough to get the target combo. Stun? Oh no. Oh no. The reversal. He really wanted to throw a throw. Oh god, I just remembered. No! 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 This series sucks. Throw. He really wants double throw right there. 
Throw. 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 And at this point, if you're Shao Hai, you're committed, right? I guess. Because if you throw, if you get throw baited, you're dead. Walk forward, walk back. What's fucked up is this crouching medium punch doesn't even beat a throw. It beats a crouching jab. And of course you're dead. Because he was going to EX after, too. <laughs> uh, look at the Fujimura's face. He's so cool, calm, and collected. How do you not have a shit-eating grin after that? There it is. Yep, yeah, you see the way he, he was like, hmm? Look at this. That sucks. It didn't even beat a throw. Shao Hai wasn't even wrong. Like, he wasn't that wrong. Well, he was wrong, but it's like he wasn't wrong by a lot. Like, he was technically wrong, but not wrong. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't get throw baited. He hits jab. Right? He hits jab there. It's not like he whiffed the throw, which would have been like, oh, yeah, you're dead as fuck. Like, he wasn't, you know? That sucks. That, I mean, that's not a real throw loop. Because if you hit jab, you'll beat it. I mean, look. See? See that? That's what he could have done. But then he respected the meaty. Right? It's not a real throw loop. But if you don't hit a button... It's just scary. It's not real, but it's real because um, you're scared of getting meatied, which does way more damage. You could DP, you could crouch your medium kick, you could do all those things, but the safest option, like math tells you to just take the throw. But after a while, math isn't always right. Like fighting games are not always math, you know? Some fighting games are a mix of a lot of things. And that's what sucks, is that he was, he technically made the right choice, but I don't want to look at his face. We already looked at his face after Myers. And not only that, speaking of faces, you've been staring at my face up there in NorCal. You're going to have to stare every week wearing that HyperX headset. I'm just sitting there in that fucking advertisement. The advertisement. 